Hi guys. It is another just gloomy, dark, ugly, depressing day here in the end times, in the soggy former paradise of Garfield, Texas on this gloomy Wednesday, October 17, 2018. I'm not sure I will have it in me uh, to bring you a Doomer headline roundup rant. So uh, I did want to mention one story. Uh, I want to thank our Alert Tribes member, Aaron from Florida, for sending me this story from, uh, you know, the Florida Panhandle, where I guess the entire city of Panama City is still has no water today since Michael hit. When was that? Friday? Uh, that they lost their water, uh, among other things, and there is no sign of FEMA, no sign of FEMA coming to rescue uh, the clueless morons who did not evacuate. And uh, so anyway, I'm just getting a little bit of a taste of it here in Garfield, Texas today. So Garfield, Texas, you know, we've had some pretty nasty weather for three days. We've had three days of, of rain and whatnot, but it's not exactly here in Garfield, Texas in the year 2018, 15 miles from, uh, from Austin, Texas. It's not exactly some, you know, major event yet anyway, but I woke up this morning to no water no water uh, in my house and I said shit did they not did I not pay my water bill or whatever so I get on the phone to the local water company which is services 267 homes uh, here in Garfield to tell them that I had no water and they basically said told me no shit Sherlock and, and let me know that the entire community of Garfield, Texas, all 267 homes in Garfield, Texas today have no running water. And I said, well, uh, that's some interesting news. Do you have any idea when I can expect my water to be back on? And the uh, woman uh, just told me, sir, I... I wish I could tell you, but I really don't know uh, when we will all have our water back on. We have the fellows working on it. And there you go. So I am sitting here uh, in the middle of the collapse of global industrial civilization with no fucking water. I had to, uh, thank God, uh, I remembered to fill the ice cube trays uh, <coughs> last night so I would have some ice cubes for my margaritas tonight. And so what I had to do was put my ice cubes in the microwave oven so I could have a cup of coffee. Uh, so I brushed my teeth in microwaved ice cubes. Uh, <laughs> but uh, sure would be nice to have a shower, a hot shower on this ugly day. Y you know, it would be nice to be able to uh, take a shit and flush the toilet. Uh, guys, uh, th this, is, th this is 267 houses at the end of a three-day rainy spell in Travis County, Texas one of the fastest growing counties, 10 fastest growing counties in the United States of America. And 260 homes have no water and we'd have no clue when we're going to have running water. This is just a, uh, a, a tiny little taste of, of, of what it's going to feel like. Uh, you know, when this whole fucking a uh, house of cards comes blowing down like uh, it did in the Florida Panhandle. 
where we have how many thousands and thousands of Americans in the year 2018 uh, having no idea uh, where the hell uh, their water is coming from. And, and this is the way that, that how many, what is it, two billion people on the planet or something like that have no running water. And, and, and you think that you got to go to fucking uh, Somalia to, to find people uh, without running water? Come to Garfield, Texas today, guys. Uh, we're going down. And it ain't going to be pretty. Now, of course, you know, I can get in my gas-sucking truck and I can drive to Harry Butt's grocery store and buy some water. Uh... <laughs> anyway, drink them if you got them. Drink them if you got them. We are so fucked. And with that, I've got to wrap this up because I got to get ready for my interview with uh, this fellow named John Halstead. I want to talk to John, have a conversation with John about his uh, essay, which I've read here as a Sunday sermon, What If It Is Too Late? <laughs> We're going to see what the old pagan John Halstead has to say, answer the question, What If It Is Already Too Late? which it already is. It was too late 20 years ago, John, and uh, all that's left, all that's left is Mad Max coming your way looking for your, not your last can of beans, your last glass of water. Bye, guys.